No money. 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 Said call the chicken, call the rooster. With their chicken talk. <laughs> With the chicken whisper. You gotta do it in African. The 
This is new. Yeah. This is new, I like it. So we're getting uh, roadside gas because there's no gas station in this area. Mm -hmm. Also, the roadside gas come from Nigeria. And you know, Nigeria is the first uh, oil producer in the West Africa, in Africa. Mm -hmm. So you get it from Nigeria? It's cheaper, but you know, you create more damage. You change very often your fuel yeah. pump, really? fuel filters, and sometimes damage your engine too. But you know, you're talking about cost. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Say chai. Chai. Say hi. Hi. This is our translator. What's your name? My name is Michael. Hi, Michael. Yeah, hi. You'll be our translator for this week. <laughs> for four years now. Yeah. Yeah. He's real cool. Huh? Cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> we are on. Oh god. <laughs> on the roof at our hotel in. What's this place called? Boy, Boyacat, Boya. Boyakin, Boyak, Boyakin, and it's just a really special moment that I wanted to to document. Um, I'm currently blind by this light, but but if you look out there, there's a nice little street. But there's there's the view that we were able to capture, which you can kind of see. So we're here, ending our first day of Africa life, and it's been nice. We took a three-hour drive to here. And we took a little rest, and we had a little dinner that consisted of really good French fries and some unidentifiable chicken meat, which was pretty good. It was something or other. Rubber, rubber duck. Yeah, it was really good though. They're complaining. But the mango, on point. Mango was something else. I'll tell you that much. Um, we met some very interesting. Oh, we got an intruder. In the form of Travis. <laughs> Travis, say hi. Hey. Oh, that's right. But it works, though. Yeah. So Travis just got blinded. Um, so it's been good. We are trying to adjust the culture um, to language. It's different. It's in French. The food's yummy, though. Food's pretty yummy. You just heard them Same complaining the about fruit. the rubber duck, but... It was chicken. Whoa. And now Jamin's joining the party for... Uh, just open your eyes. It's being a baby. You'll yeah. thank me later. Okay. Where are we, Jamin? We're on top of the world. But what kind of in world? Africa. What, where are we? Like on top We're of? We're the only white people. Only the white people in, in the world. In the world. Yes. <laughs> we are on the roof. Rooftop chilling. And it's a good time. Tell me about the, our first day. Oh, here, well, let's travels. see. Um, we, where did we wake up at? I don't know. Another hotel. Yes. And we were in Continu. And now we're not. And now we're not. Yes. We saw naked babies. And okay. You naked did. Naked women. Okay. And now we're here. Now we're here. Tell us about the <laughs> tell us about the mango experience. It was great. It was amazing. Tell it's me like, about the child. Amazing is better than what? great. The child with the mangoes sucking. Oh. Oh. Anyway, it Jamin great. does not speak French, and so. Was, no one does. No. <laughs> but Jamin was like, no, no, no. <laughs> So the girl was like, blah, blah, and ate the stuff in front of him. It was like, Why you want to eat my, blah, blah. my mango? I'll eat my mango. <laughs> are you taking pictures of the video? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. Yeah. So that's about it. Uh, we're going to check out because <laughs> we're obviously checked out. Well, we got four more days in the hotel. Yeah, well, well we're a little to be continued. I will check in with you lovely folks later. Guys, yeah, we should put bodies up here. <gasps> All right, we're in the back of the SUV, getting ready to go to the village and share the gospel. We just had a delicious breakfast here, with some friends. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> actually, uh, breakfast was awesome. We yeah, had really Best good meal of the day. omelets or Ooh. eggs and coffee and bread and things of that nature. Um, we had a, a awesome devotion time where Pastor Marcio 
sh shared his gigantic vision for um, the area where he plans to, by 2025, to have planted um, 35 or 40 churches. And so it was really cool to hear his heart with that and to see his vision. And uh, this is the first day of evangelism. And Emily brought a really nice devotion this morning. She talked about Jesus feeding the 5,000 and how we are to be selfless even if we're tired or exhausted or whatever. So, sorry. These people are trying to dis distract me. Selfie! But Go it's first. not gonna Let work. Me take a anyway. Um, yeah, check in with you later. I am mountain, I am dust, constellations made of us. There's glory in the dirt, a universe within the sand, eternity within a man. This is all you. And Norm's how do you feel about this? He's, he's okay. Exactly. And so, anyways, um, that was, yes, and then we had food. Yes, we went to a restaurant after that. Um, I don't know the name of it. Something in French. It was very, very spicy. Very, very spicy. Also very delicious. We had lamb or goat. Okay. It was goat. goat. And also some cheese that was like fried or something. I don't know, but it was really good. Um, beans and rice and some really spicy green stuff, but it was pretty good. Um, and then we also went to a palace after that. The king's palace, in fact. The king of... Benin. No, of Benin. Well. The king of Benin. <laughs> we did not get to meet him. But it was actually a museum of his palace, and so we saw different. But things. he does exist. He does exist. Apparently, he has two thousand wives. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. we might talk to him. We might talk to him Thursday. Saturday. Saturday. According to Rachel. Saturday, Saturday. or Thursday? According to Rachel. We yep started flooding, and yeah, it was pretty crazy. Mud everywhere, water everywhere. We had. And we went back to our jeeps, and we came here, you know, yeah. took a little shower, and we just had More dinner. <laughs> so now we're here. And now we're here. Norbs and I are here. Ready for some more adventures. 
Any thoughts? Any final closings? Uh, it was awesome today. Me and Rachel Wood got to go and explore the uh, tribes and all that fun stuff uh, while the rest of the team left us there. Um, yes. And we got to share the gospel with uh, a lot of people. Um, we got to share the gospel with one, one woman in particular who was really awesome. She called us over and she basically was just like, how can I hear unless someone has come to tell me? And I mean, my first thought was that was Romans 10, 14 and 15. So yes. it was really awesome to hear her say that too. So, yes. so in closing, it's been a good day and we will keep you guys informed tomorrow and the following. So peace. Yeah. Here we are again in the car about to get it on <laughs> with the evangelism yes lord yes <laughs> fair enough wait when it, we're hitting the streets wait hold on yeah, just um, do how do you switch the i can't you um you press that button oh you got chickens on his thing did you see them so yeah. we are heading day two a bunch of dead day chickens. two Thank of you. evangelism we are going to another village of some sort and more door-to-door -door evangelism so praying that it goes well we had a breakfast did a devotion might hit the fetish market later so no, what do you think it's not what that sounds like <laughs> it's a voodoo market so we will inform you of that so Keep it tight. that I'm in bed and this is really bright but I forgot to do a status update today. Um, it was a really good day with the evangelism and we went to schools and we preached different kind of stories, Bible stories and then what else happened today? And then Jamie, what happened? And then we went to have lunch at a, some kind of location I don't remember. What did we eat lunch? Mm. Oh yeah, we went to this random place that had really good food. <laughs> and then fried and then rice. some like nice Shrimp. rice noodles and then lobster. That cheese stuff that was to die for. And then we came. What did we, what did we go after that? 
Then we went to the, village. the fetish market, the voodoo village. That was really weird. They had all these different kind of things. They performed a ritual. No, they didn't. Stop. They had all these, they sell all these things to people to perform like sacrifices and different voodoo and ceremonies. Like they have like animals, they had like animal carcasses, or not carcasses, skins, and uh, all these little idols. It was very disturbing to be in, but it was, it taught us a lot about that religion. Anyway, that was cool, and then we went to a person's house where we bought our different kind of fabrics so we can make our uh, African outfit. And so we took the fa awesome. fabric to a tailor and we all got to, we got our fabrics tailored <laughs> so we can have our African garments and they will be here tomorrow. And then we had dinner at a really nice pizza place and it was really cool and we came back here and played some music. And now we're gonna go to sleep. <sighs> Did I get that about right? So that's it. Chai chow. <laughs> Okay. 
I mean, where is what is the, where the process start from, and where how it end up in the place, and then in your interest from it. You wanna go for the tour? Yeah. Okay. So oh, wait, do it again. Okay. <laughs> I just want to explain you the process of pounding the yam. Okay. So first, you take the yam, and then you peel it. When you finish peel it, okay, you put it in a box. Then you cook it. So when it's ready, you bring it here, and then you put it into the mortar, and then you pound it till you have this and that you have. So to be to make it soft, they used to put hard water in it so that you can have not a hard one but a soft one. So this is the process of pounding yam. Well, we are here at the orphanage in some random place that I don't remember what it's called, but we are here. Gift of the living tree or something of that nature. And we're having a little tour time before the kids come. It's a good time. What's up? Don't want to do what? You have a frisbee. I have frisbees, yes. Really this is Priscilla. Hi. A few words. Uh, Say hi. I'm happy to be here with you guys. <laughs> yes. We are too. Anyway, it's a hot day. Uh, we've been traveling on the roads for... Six hours? It's not been six hours. Like three hours maybe. I have a stick in my hand. And it's been good. It's been a good trip so far. This is our last little kind of ministry thing, I guess. Show some love to some kids. So that's like their kitchen cabinets right above where they keep their whatever they can store anything, some food. 
No, on a left side, quand il veut préparer la sauce. Ok, so this il, is... Il, 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 il prend un peu pour mettre la, la sauce. Uh -huh. Et le goût, ça donne un bon, un bon goût. C'est espace. Non, non c'est pas espace, c'est un autre <laughs> truc là, chez nous, naturel. Ok, I don't know what it's called, but basically it's something that they'll... The, they take the leaves off and they kind of grind them up and they put them in their sauce that they eat. Alors voilà, c'est là comme ça ils font la cuisine. So, the kitchen. Et ici, ça c'est les nattes. So ils fabriquent les nattes ici avec la main. Ok, donc c'est ce qu'ils utilisent et ils font les mats de ce genre de choses. Here on the roof of our hotel. This is uh, our last day here in Abome. It's been a good time. Uh, we had a good time evangelizing and sharing the gospel to the people. And uh, during this time, God's really given me a heart for these people. And it's kind of sad to go, but but we're going to go back to the, the capital today and have a little bit more adventures. You know. All part of the adventure. Um, I just thank God for everything we've been able to do here and uh, even the fruit that we were able to see. We've been being here a few days, we were able to see many conversions and many uh, people. Anyway, um, I have to go catch later. The rhythm of love is the bullet to the head. Renders darkness cold and dead, defeating fear and bringing rain to the driest parts of our sun scorched land. And we are soldiers of light dancing on the wind. We are the love. This is a love.